Okay. You're just gonna let it linger. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, hell guys! Welcome to Mixed Brew Review. Today, we're doing James Squire varieties. As the other guy told ya, we're doing James Squire today. I have four different James Squire beers today. I have the Chancellor, which is a golden ale. We have the 150 Lashes Pale Ale. We have the Swindler Tropical Ale. And then we also have the Hop Thief American Pale Ale. Now, these are some lovely little drops. I've tried a couple uh, out of draft taps and stuff like that, um, and I was very impressed. I did like them. So, let's get into it. Okay, okay. so the first one we're gonna do, James Squire, Chancellor. Okay, the Golden Ale, number four. Why the Chancellor? Ex-convict James Squire seized every opportunity as emancipation offered. With his unique, unique blend of charm, skills and luck rewarding him with an invaluable fortune as Australia's first brewer. Although well, John Boston had that, uh, that mark. Oh, we'll check that out. He took a chance and ended up with a brewery, wealth and freedom. Well, that's, uh, that's what you want, isn't it, James? Okay, so tasty notes on this one. A lively golden ale balance, balance, a lively golden ale balancing toasted wheat and barley with aromarello hops for a, for a fresh, fruity, tropical aroma. Okay then, let's give it a go. First sip, and the stubby. Oh, that's nice. That's not as bitter and as intense as the John Boston one. Uh, the John Boston one had a lot of uh, Australian uh, toffee, malty kind of thing, but not golden malt. It was it was a kind of like a bitter sour toffee esque, and that one's good. So it doesn't have that bitter uh, toffee finish. That's nice. That is nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Let's pour it into a cup. Let's him breathe ever so slightly. Well, we might put him back here. The James Squire minutes. story in the time it takes to pour one. Brewing legend James Squire loved the kangaroos that roamed his massive property, preferably grilled what? with a glass of ale. James Squire Golden Ale, never forsake flavour. Okay, I think it's uh, aired enough. We're going to give this Golden Ale a bloody good shot. All right. Sounds good. Mmm. That mellowed out a fair bit. But the flavour still lingers. It kind of comes back uh, in the lingering finish. That's good. Get on you, James. That's a good golden. Mellow flavoured. To start with, and then when you keep breathing out, you get a bit of the aroma and the flavours. Man, that's well done. Well done, James. Well done. Yeah. I would have to think that's, um, that's better than John Boston. If not, very super close. Uh, to John Boston's Golden in, in, in the running, like there is a fair bit of flavour difference there. If it comes between John Boston Golden and James Squire Golden, I think James Squire has it just by the nose. Well done, James. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Clear that. Cleanse the palate. And into the next one, right. James Squire, 150 Lashes Pale Ale. Never to seek flavour, number three. Today at James Squire, we continue to craft beers in honour of Australia's first brewer. 
Much has changed since James' day, but not our uncompromising commitment to brewing flavoursome beers from our finest ingredients, we never forsake flavour. Alright, tasty notes. A crackily refreshing cloudy pale ale featuring fruity aromas with hints of passion fruits, grapefruit and citrus. Sounds beautiful. Alright, so let's bust this bad boy open. These, these suck. All right, okay, so, James Squire, 150 Lashes Pale Ale. Let's give it the first crack. That's nice, that's nice. It's not, uh, it's not as light as what the James Bogues ones because that was that was just a light the point pale ale. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. This one's nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, you know what? I should get a bit more aromatic in the cup, and that's going to be fantastic. Another James Squire story in the time it takes to pour one. When James Squire stole the ingredients for his first batch of beer, the judge ordered 150 lashes plus two barrels of ale. James Squire Golden Ale. Never forsake flavour. Sweet. We've let uh, 150 lashes just mellow for a minute or so, so it's time to get into it. <sighs> yeah, the aroma's interesting. Not perfect. It seems like a little bit more bitter comes out when you pour it into a glass. Because it wasn't very bitter in a stubby. Um, easy drinking. Um, don't know how much you could drink. That There is a bit of flavour there. But the flavour's kind of there and then it goes. It doesn't linger too much. And there is not too much fruity-esque characteristics there. 150 lashes, James Squire. Here's to ya. Yummy. Okay. Third one in. We're gonna do the James Squire Swindler Tropical Ale. Number three. Never for safe flavour. Today's continued craft beer to compromise. No. Okay, so number three. The story on this one's the same as the story that was on the pale ale. The number three, never forsake flavour. Not going to worry about that. But the tasty notes on this guy. Uh, big on refreshment. This easy drinking, dry hot pale ale pairs a light body with a big tropical hot notes of passion fruit and melon with a clean, fresh finish. That sounds freaking awesome. Might use Merv this time. Got it perfectly. Okay. James Squire, the Swindler Tropical Ale. Definitely suits my style of drinking with the dry hops. Oh. Oh. Fruity. I like it. Yeah, baby. That's a fruit salad. And that's a fruit salad I can enjoy. Alright, let's have a snifter of the swindler. That aroma is pretty cool. Uh, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. I can tell it's going to be a bit mellowed out in the cup um, than what the stubby was, which could be good. Definitely mellowed out the fruity aspects. I think I'd rather this out of the stubby because it comes out pretty intense straight away with the flavours. This in the cup, it just mellows it out a bit. 
which is fine, but I like that dry hopped, um, intense, fruity aromas. Yeah, I could drink that. That could be one of my new, one, one of uh, <laughs> the numerous new favorite drinks, but that's a stubby drink. I drink that out of the stubby for sure. Yep, keep that one in the stubby, guys. Um, well, there you go. Not all, um, not all craft beers suit glasses. Some of them keep their flavour better in the stubby, and that's this flavour that I kind of want to enjoy better. Uh, is that fruity aroma? Mmm. James Square, you are a true legend. Now we're on to the last one of the James Squire Craft Beer Mix. I have a lovely little morsel, I believe this is one of my favourites. The James Squire Hop Thief American Pale Ale, done with Crystal and Cascade Hops. Alright, so we need to go to the story of this bad boy. And the story is the Malt Shovel Story, number two. James Squire established the Malting Shovel Tavern in Putney and Sydney in 1806. Malt shovels were used by brewers to turn the barley during the malting process, and the cross shovels featured on the label are the same as those adorned at the original tavern. Okay, cool. The Crystal Hops delivers a balanced blend of spice with floral aromas, whilst the addition of Cascade Hops with tropical citrus and a complimentary with grapefruit character. Okay. I like the grapefruit aspect. Um, that's definitely something that I enjoy okay, myself. Got that one popped open. Let's give it the first sip. That's enjoyable. That's good. That's got a lot of flavour without being bitter. Um, it's not too aromatic in fruity tones, but that's good. It's not too bitter, but there's a bitterness to it. Let's have a look and see what it does. In the car on the last beer of the James Squire craft beer collection, a collection of four, there is a whole bunch of James Squire beers out there, but I decided to do only do it on four. So this is the four. We're on our last. It's just mellowed out enough. Let's give it a crack. James Squire Hop Thief with Crystal and Cascade Hops. Yeah, that mellowed out a lot. Um... Mellowed out a lot in the aroma, but the flavour's still there. Okay. That's got an interesting flavour. It's trying to go fruity, but then it's fighting with the bitter. And it kind of just settles in a very interesting manner. <laughs> James Squire. You guys are doing something well. Um, everything has a unique flavour, but it's kind of still the same. Which is strange. Which is strange. But um, I suppose in what we're testing today, we have essentially three pale ales. But just different styles of a, like a pale ale, an American ale, a, a tropical ale. But they all have essentially the same body, it's just different kind of hops. Um, and that's a tasty little tour. I do enjoy that. James Squire, you know what? Here's to you guys. I really enjoy your range. You're doing something really well. You're doing it uh, in your own style and it's winning. It's definitely winning. Um, I've gone into the James Squire Bar in the city, in Brisbane, Australia, and um, 
I tried a few of their uh, products that, that aren't readily available as much in the um, uh, BWS, Dan Murphy's kind of stores. And yeah, there were some really good ones. Um, they really do craft beer justice. Um, James Squire, mate, here's to you, buddy. Okay, so, do we have a winner out of this lot? Well, you know what? For my drinking style, my flavours that I truly enjoy, um, this guy here, the Swindler Tropical Ale, that one has got my interest, and because it's probably the better straight out of the stubby, that's the style of drinking that I lean towards on the average. Um, so you know what? We have a clear winner. The Swindler Tropical Ale, congratulations, you win this round of tasting. Well done, well done. Well, alright guys, I believe that comes to the end of another mixed brew review. I hope you've enjoyed. Please give me a comment down below. If you're not a subscriber already on the Drunk Tank, subscribe, would you? We need more subscribers. We need more people. We want more people. We want people that just comment. We want people to enjoy. We want people to share. I, I just need more people. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching another Mixed Brew Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I've enjoyed in recording them. I get to drink, so I have a great enjoyment when it comes to this. I like James Squire. James Squire does a great craft beer. They have a great extensive range. Get into it at your local BWS or Dan Murphy's. From another Mick the Middleman Mixed Brew Reviews. Please like and subscribe, comment down at the bottom if you want anything else done, explained, or looked into further. But anyway, I hope you had a great day, and enjoy your beers.